It's your third year season, as you mentioned, but this year, obviously, picked to finish second in the West. It's top 10 team for season ranking. Mm -hmm. You've been here, this is year three, so do you feel any extra pressure or that added expectation compared to the previous years, or has it always been the same with the program and how you've done it? You know what's crazy? It's gotten easier for me. Uh, now that I'm more vocal and more, um, and coach allowed me to speak and, and like demand, it's more easier. Um, Cause I'm gonna work hard regardless. So I don't have to worry about that end of it. It's just being able to teach the new guys certain terminology, show them what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. And I think that's something, that's that's about the hardest thing to do. Cause like, like I said, you got the new guys coming in from high school. They haven't learned all the things I've learned. Cause I've been in college two years. And then you got guys like Jalen Graham coming from Arizona State. You got the, the Mitchell twins coming in from Rhode Island. Like they haven't, they haven't been coached like most coach. You know what I mean? So it's all new to them. And so like I just continue to teach them. And once they get it, then we all we all get it, and we all come together. I don't know who can beat us. You know what I mean? But we just got to get to that point. You know what I mean? You know, when, when you came in, you, you had to wait a little while to play because obviously it was a talent roster when you were a, just out of high school. But mm -hmm. how would you say your games evolved going into your third season? Uh, uh, the physical aspect um, is really something that I put on once COVID came around um, before we got on campus my freshman year. And so since then, I've always been in the weight. I've always been in the weight room extra, doing extra things in the weight room to uh, build my body up. But not only that, just like I said, learning how to talk in practice and things like that. Things I didn't have to do in high school, you know what I mean? Just small stuff, really. There were a couple of times last year where Eric said that it seemed like you needed to find your joy a little mm -hmm. bit more when you were playing. Could you maybe explain that? Like, is it, freshman year, you were like bubbly, happy-go-lucky mm -hmm. guy and wearing shades inside mm -hmm. in the dome and stuff when you were playing. And um, last year's maybe a little bit edgy, do you feel yeah, like? Yeah, um, kind of me trying to find my place on where I should be able to go when it comes to being on the, the team, a new, a brand new team almost, you know, just knowing that I was in this spot on my first, on the first team, my first year, and then being able to, to transfer, transfer to the next year and knowing that we got a whole new team almost. Yeah. Some returners, but like, just trying to find my edge for, for what I need to do to help the team win. And I, Towards the end of the season, I think I found it. Mm -hmm. um, I could say almost at the end of the SEC, the SEC tournament, I think that's something that turned turn, turn me around, just knowing that I was trying to find where I can fit in to help the team win. Yeah. Now, you, you've been with Kamani. I mean, this is what Kamani's third year here, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, how have you seen Kamani mature over the years? I mean, he's had his ups and downs, mm -hmm. but it seems like a pretty pretty mature guy from what oh, yeah, he's for sure. now. Yeah, um, he's learned. He's learned a lot. And I can say that he's he's learned off the court most, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. knowing that um, he didn't know how to be um, the person he is now. He's more respectful. He's, he, he learned how to talk to people and things like that. And I think that's something that um, spoke, spoke out to me because, I mean, yeah. he was a totally different person coming in, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sure. You, got? You, you know, you got three three uh, McDonald's All-Americans. Yeah, I, I guess you've known Nick for a while, and then Anthony and Jordan. They all seem, even though they're obviously heralded mm -hmm. and probably had a lot of, you know, smoke, for, you know, for you know what. Um, I mean, they seem like they're pretty grounded. What, what's your take on those three guys in particular, and how uh, their personalities, what they're, they're bringing to the team, and how, how do you talk to those guys? Because you know, you're an older guy, but they're you know projected first round draft picks next year. Right. You know? Yeah. For sure. Uh, just like any other team, that we're, um, if they come in with a mindset, uh, I'm trying to get in here, do what I need to do, and, and be first rounder, then. That's what they. That's that's the, that's, how, that's the type of work they need to put in. You know what I mean. And so, if they're not, then I'm the type. I'm the person to tell them. You go. You think you're going first round. You need to put the work in. You need to work harder than me. Because I'm trying to take your minutes. You know what I mean. And I'm gonna just let them know that because if I don't let them know, who else will tell them? You know what I mean. Like somebody might, but I don't know if they will. So I'm gonna let them know. Just continue to work hard. You know what I mean. That's that's the that's the the whole point of what I'm trying to get across is if you work hard. I work hard, we work hard, and everybody dreams can come, can come, come successful, you know what I mean? So, I mean, just working hard. I mean,